Alrighty guys, um, today I'm going to show you uh, some watercolor paint that I did, um, pages that I did for the watercolor journal that I'm doing. Um, so I'll show you the little um, paintings and splashes that I did and I'll tell you which one I'm going to use and which ones I liked and which ones I'm not going to use and I didn't like. Anyways, um, so let me start with the ones that I did and I didn't like. Just because how plain it was and some of them were too dark and too much splatter. This is one of them. Not sure which way the video is recording. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the like this. Um, so this is one of them. It's a little tulip. I followed um, YouTube instructions, but she had a different um, brush than I do, and I don't have the brush that she had, and so mine didn't come out looking like hers. I still like it. It's still okay. It's just not what I was expecting it to look like. So I'm not gonna be using this one. This is another one I found uh, inspiration on Google. This is supposed to be raining and this is supposed to be like sunshine and stuff, but it looks like fire. And this is one of the reason why I'm not going to use this one. Next one is this a rainbow kind of strike one. Um, then there's some purple on the other side. And a little yellow stain on the inside. So the reason why I'm not using this one is because it's too dark for the journal that I want to make. I sprayed it, the colors look good, but then I decided to spray it with my coffee stain. <laughs> and yeah, this is what happened. It got really, really dark. Still like the back of it, so I might use it as a smaller version, but as of right now, I am not using this one. This is another one that came out a little too dark for this journal. Uh, again, coffee stain right there. And I did some little pink uh, brush strokes, but it just came out too dark. And then here I was trying to create some kind of a different leaf or whatever that is, and it just looks weird and I don't like it. So, alrighty, and here I go. Oh, wait, there's one more. And then this one, I might actually use it. Uh, it doesn't look that bad, it's not that dark, but when you see which ones I'm actually going to use, you'll see what I mean by this. So here starts the first ones I am going to be using. So this one has coffee stain in the back, but it has purple stains everywhere else. So it's not too dark. Actually, it looks like it's a little darker than this one, but I just like the colors better on here. This is another one. This is just a purple stain on one side. It just shows from the other side better like that. Then I have a yellow one here with some little purple in the back. This one is like lavender color. It has coffee stain there as well, mixed in. Uh, this is one I'm not using. Sorry, this is made in the wrong pile, but um, it's just too dark. Okay, so here comes the fun ones. After struggling to paint with my brush, I finally figured out the technique on when I was putting paint directly onto my workspace that this one I have a different one that I use which is um, more resistant and then they just dragged the paper on it and that's what it came out with and I really like that there's another one with just a pink there's one with um, purples blues and pinks and there's some red in the back so this one's really interesting. After I would clean the space up with a napkin, I had the napkin with all the colors and I just went on this page and did that. I think it's really cool. Next one is a little dark. It's blue with some pink and purple splatters. Next one is this light pink, light, light lavender and light blue here. But on the other side, if you guys can see this, it's like a rainbow. It looks like a rainbow on the other side. I think that looked really cool. 
This is also the one I was doing with. Oh no. I remember how I did this one. Okay, so this one I was trying to do this really cool technique by um, adding color right here. And then holding the paper like this and then dripping water so that it would drip down. But it didn't work. So what I did is I grabbed a big sponge brush and I just went like this and just smeared it all. So that's why it looks like that. So this is the next one, which is uh, a rainbow color. And there's some little rainbow yellows and blues and pinks in the back. And then a rainbow on the side. Next one is this uh, a little blue and purple on top, but mostly pink. This is where you can see that it was laying on my surface because there's that gap between the two tiles that I have on my surface. So that's what it made that line there. But I really like that one. This is the blue one that I did, just the blues. This is lavender color on both sides. Okay, well, these two I did, and they looked dark, but they dried up really, really bright, and you can't see any color. Well, those are not using now. <laughs> There's one that I tried to do hearts, and I really like this side. The other side is a little too dark. There's some blue in the middle. I might just use this side over here. Uh, let's see. And there's the one with just the pink splatters. Uh, blue with some pink, green, and coffee stain splatter there. And there's a yellow one. It's a uh, lime yellow. Pink here. Some of them are bent because that's the way that they were drying, so I will fix them. I'll probably iron them or whatever I'm going to do, but that's how they look right now. So this is a little too dark, but I like this side. There's one that I tried to do a little um, square frame, and then I decided to fill it with yellow in the middle, and then just some stro strikes of brush on the back strokes <laughs> all right and then there's this heart one and then i have this one with the purple the pink and a little red in the bottom and then the green in the middle There's this one with um, light purple. Whenever I will be folding it half, it will look like this. This is my fingerprint. <laughs> fingerprints. I had paint all over my hands, so I just went pretty much like this. I think it looks cool. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the whole page or just cut it in half and use one, or cut it in half and use this one. We'll figure it out. This is the next one, light pink. There's some splatters here. There's some uh, light uh, dark pink and light blue there. This I try to do like little starfishes, but those are kind of um, got smirt. And this is the other side. Kind of looks like uh, seaweed or water. Hi, Moe So then there's a purple one. Lavender color. Then I have this rainbow one. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's a rainbow. This one is a little dark, so I'm not sure if I'll use it, but it's like a green mixed with 
bowl, which you shouldn't mix mixing those together. They make like a they make a brown color, so that's what that looks like. So it kind of looks like coffee stain, which is fine with me. That's how it looks there. There's a blue one. Then I have one with the yellow. Okay, and then here comes my favorite ones. All right, so I have one that I drew a sunset. I put it to the side, and then when I was spraying my coffee stain, I got those coffee stain paints sprays everywhere, which I kind of like. It looks pretty cool. Oh, and then my cat, <laughs> in the middle of the night, spilled my water all over the floor. <laughs> all over my work surface and it got stained right there but i think it also adds character to it so then i have this one which is the pinks and excuse me pinks and uh, coffee stains then i have one with just the coffee stains with just a little bit of pink in the inside but on this side it's mostly pink coffee stain and just a lot of splatters of pink Next one I have coffee stain splatters, then I have some green going into the lighter blue and then pink and going into the lighter pink. Uh, let's see, there's this one, has the pink, the blues, the oranges and some greens on the bottom. Are you splashing water with me? <laughs> you kitty cat. Alrighty, and then there's some coffee stain splatters all over the card. And then this is my favorite by far. So this is a rainbow color. And it's on both sides. Look how beautiful that looks. So that's the colors that I've, um, papers that I've prepped for my watercolor journal. Um, I tried doing some with putting a marker on my, uh, on this clear, um, work plate mat uh, and then I spray it with perfume and I just put the perfume on top of it that's how they came out I just thought I might use those I'm not sure and then after I was done using my station I had some paint left on my brush and I just went on the next page and just use it all up so I think this looks really cool and then I look through the next page and there's barely any color here but I think it looks cool. So I think that is it for um, for this. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you for watching the video. Leave a happy friendly comment down below. Put a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.